begin tonight with an ABC 21 follow up. Friday, we shared with you your state road barbecue in Bluffton was shut down by the Wells County Health Department. And tonight we're hearing from the restaurant's owner who says he plans to fight that decision. ABC 21's Corinne Rose has more on that story and the statewide mask mandate that began it all. When the mask mandate came out, uh, we did a video on Facebook to our customers saying that we were not going to um, comply. We were not going to make all of our customers and all of our employees uh, wear face masks. Matt Yergler has run Yergi's State Road Barbecue from this Bluffton location for nearly four years. The Wells County Health Department closed it Friday for not complying with Governor Holcomb's mask mandate. Yergler says he never told anyone they couldn't wear a mask, he just didn't make them wear one. He says he doesn't think the science of face masks has been conclusively proven to help with the coronavirus pandemic. I'd say the science is conflicting at best on whether putting healthy people in masks all the time is a good thing. He also says the governor's mandate to wear a face mask infringes on people's liberty and is not about health. We believe that this uh, um, COVID situation is politically motivated and it's not necessarily completely honest and the mask is a way to put fear into people and to control people. He says before being shut down, his customers were so supportive that sales spiked. I disagree with what they did to his business and also his family. Brian Taylor works next door to Yergi's State Road Barbecue and says since people take masks off to eat inside a restaurant, why should owners mandate you wear them at all? He had a sign out originally that said that they did not wear masks. And my thing is, is our safety's kind of up to us at some point. If you don't want to be in a place that's not wearing a mask, don't go in there. Yergler says the restaurant is the only income for his family of five, but insists his standing on principle is more important. This fight's going to continue. It's not ending. Um, they may have came in and shut our restaurant down, but we're going to continue to fight for liberty. Um, and we're willing to have our restaurant shut down for the fight for liberty. He hopes he might be able to use his food truck in the meantime. The Wells County Health Department declined to comment for this story. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.